Hey everyone, thanks for coming to our session. In this session, we are talking about His Holiness Jimmy Ponto's last teaching. We'll cover following items. Gurus and the power of lineage transmission and Kempu Sodagi's talk. And the last teaching by His Holiness Jimmy Ponto Rinpoche. Do not lose your own path do not disturb others' mind. And also um, documentary, the 13th Nirvana ceremony for His Holiness, Jimmy Ponsor Rinpoche. So um, first I would like to introduce Larunga Buddhist Academy. This academy was established in 1980, funded by His Holiness, Jimmy Ponsor Rinpoche. It is located in China, Sichuan province. Since then, it starts to become one of the largest and most influential centers for the study of Tibetan Buddhism in the world. As you can see in the picture, there's a lot of um, red cabins where the practitioners live. In peak time, um, the practitioners is more than 10,000 in academy. So this is a study hall. Um, practitioners study um, Buddhism every day, and then they will follow the different brand, like Han Buddhism, um, Tibetan Buddhism, um, Mahayana. And then they are learning different texts um, and diff proceed different um, practice. And this is the loft where the practitioners live. Um, as you can see in the picture, the living condition was not good at all. I was there a few years ago, even we have to carry water a pretty long distance. But as you can feel, everyone, they are so happy. And then happiness from, is from inside. They're not it depends on the material outside. So Kampo Sodagi is the student follow His Holiness Kampo Jimmy Ponso Rinpoche. And he's one of the spiritual leaders in Nima lineage. And we are a group of practitioners following Kampo Sodagi. As a Vara Guru and a Dzogchen lineage holder, Kampo is empowered to transmit Varayana teachings and practice. He emphasized a sy systematic approach of listening, contemplating, and meditation on the Dharma. And he has been teaching over 30 years. If you are interested, you can find more teachings and Campos books on camposudagi.org. So um, gurus and the power of lineage transmission Tibetan Buddhism laying much emphasis on lineage transmission that has been passed on till today from the Buddha to our teachers. It carries great power continuously and without interruption. Um, without receiving such transmission, one is not allowed to teach others, however wise and skilled he might be. This is a something less or at least not equally cherished in other sects. This is our lineage um, transmission chart. Our lineage is Nima lineage. As you can see um, from this chart, the teachings are transmitted from Buddha Sakamuni all the way to Longchen Rajan, Master and to um, reading Jimme Limba, Master and Jimme Gawa Nyukyu, Master and Pachu Rinpoche and Mipo Rinpoche, and transmitted to um, Kampo Jimme Pomto and transmitted to Kampo Suragi. So from Kampo Jimme Pomto, he transmit the teachings 
for a lot of students. But here, Campo Sudagi and Campo Zongchen Lojo um, were two very famous um, masters. And you also can see a lot of uh, teachings on YouTube. So on the right side, the author of preliminary practice instructions of finding comfort and ease in the nature of mind is from Master Lomchen Rajan. So this is the meditation practice now we are um, provided on YouTube. And the author of the word of my perfect teacher is from Pachu Rinpoche. Um, Pachu Rinpoche, also a great Dzogchen masters. This is the text teaching from our meetup we provided. So I would not to cover um, the 13th Nirvana ceremony from his Holiness Dime Pomso Rinpoche. This is a documentary um, video. Um, I strongly recommend you watch this video to understand um, or know more about His Holiness Dime Pomso Rinpoche. So next, I would cover the uniqueness of Tibetan Buddhism. There's a four aspects of uniqueness. The first one is precepts. All practitioners have to follow corresponding precepts, which is the basic guide guidelines for the behavior. The precepts are the foundation for practice, just like the earth. Without the earth, nothing can survive or grow. Without precepts, no practice is possible. The second one is listening to the Dharma. Learning the Dharma requires a wise guru. Guru is also named Dharma teachers are the most important for Tibetan Buddhism. And the third one is contemplating. The fourth one is meditation and practice. I will not cover more for these two points here. So now um, let's look at the campus um, teaching regarding the His Holiness Jimmy Pomzo's last teaching. Jimmy 他的弟子们呢就是将到很多话但实际上它具有非常深深的意义那同样的我们呢就是把生死的这个教言呢当作自己的人生的宗旨人生的一种教言人生的一种规范的这种标准就是来这个重视它其实这个这个这几个字呢我们现在很多人根据自己的身份在使用比如说我是一个藏族人那
，我不能涉及藏族的民族文化、民族的语言、民族的传统、民族的信仰，不能涉及这个道，不能涉及这样的这种呃思想、行为，包括我的品质当当。而也不能损害人类，不能损害动物，不能损害其他的所有的，哪怕是植物以上的话呢，我们都尽量的去保护它。就所以有些很多藏族人呢，他根据自己的藏族文化来这个介绍它。如果我们是嗯汉族人，啊、呃，或者说是西方的各个民族的人，那么也同样可以说不能。涉及自己的传统文化，或者说是我们自己的应有的这些宗教的信仰啊、知识的技能啊，不能涉及游泳的这些知识。同时呢，也不能损害我们地球上的所有的这些生命，也可以这样来解释。同样的，我是如果是一个老师，那么要知道自己是一个老师的身份，不能放弃自己的所有的这个。我是一个出家人，那出家人自己有自己的本，也不能放弃他。我是一个医生，医生有自己的道，也不能放弃他。我是一个飞行员，或者我是一个服务员，我是一个护士，我是一个做任何事情的这个，包括一些政府官员等等。那么，我们每一个人都是不能涉及自己的本分，也不能涉及我们中的人类的这种善良和慈悲。等等，这样的这种道，这也可以摸涉及到无扰他心来介绍。So Kampo said, um, in the last teaching by His Holiness Jimmy Ponto, was do not lose your own path, do not disturb others' mind. Although these few words looks like very simple, they actually, um, a convey very Profound message that become a life principle for the thousands of disciples of His Holiness, and for anyone in this world, these words provide insight and inspiration as how to live one's life and not get lost. So Campo said, he study under His Holiness. Jimmy Ponto Rinpoche for many years, and these were his parting words. At that time, His Holiness Jimmy Ponto Rinpoche had a heart operation and was staying in hospital in Chengdu. He made a phone call from Chengdu to Laronga, in which he said a lot to、um, the disciples, the tens of thousand disciples. At our academy, and this is the very last teaching he left to us. On surface, this word seems almost too simple, but it contains a very deep and profound message. Tens of thousands of disciples of His Holiness Jimmy Ponto Rinpoche treat these few words. As revealed message that continue even after his passing. This remind us of when the Buddha was approaching Parinirvana, and he said that during my lifetime, I am your teacher. After I pass away, Vinaya will be your teacher. Likewise. Value and appreciate the Guru's teaching as the principle, as instructive guidance and norms of conduct in our life. Kampo said, "Each disciple applies his teaching in their own way. For example, from Kampo's perspective, the inspiration is that." Campbell cannot lose Tibetan culture, language, tradition, and religion, such as ideology and norms of his own culture and tradition, including 
inequalities. Kampo said, additionally, all life is precious, even those plants. We should not harm them. Actually, we should try to protect them. It is important not to forsake our own culture and tradition, as well as to refrain from harming central beings. Similarly, from a teacher or one's identity, we should not give up the corresponding responsibility. Like if we are a teacher, we should teach. If we are a nurse, uh, we should uh, take care of the patient. So one should never discard one's individual duty, nor can one forsake the general path of the humanity. It's like the qualities of being a human, such as love, kindness, compassion, and wisdom, etc. So now I would like to introduce our study section. So we offer um, Tibetan book study on our meetup. The book is from our lineage master, um, Pachu Rinpoche, interpreted by Kempo Sudagi. The book name is The Word of My Perfect Teacher. It is a guide to the preliminary for the heart essence of the vast expanse from great perfection. The great perfection, another name is Zhou Chen, is a profound Dharma directly resulting in enlightenment through direct mind pointing method. The teaching is every Sunday, 7 p.m. And with the teaching, the word of my perfect teacher's textbook teaching. We also offer Longchen Nintik Nojo meditation. So Kampo said, in current study of the preliminary of great perfection, everyone is also required to participate the actual practice of the meditation. The meditation is also from our great Zochen master, Longchen Pa's preliminary practice instructions of finding comfort and ease in the nature of mind. There are totally 94 sessions, which is available on our YouTube. You can find the YouTube link on our description section as well. So I would not cover Q&A session here. Now we are completed our session for today. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.